So now let's talk about the sharpness of resonance. In my previous diagram, what we have seen was there was this sudden rise in the electric current. So let's talk about this sharpness. You know, I m is actually equal to V m upon there is a peak current I m I max is actually equal to R square plus that was X L minus X C. So you can straight away write omega L minus 1 by omega C whole square. This was my resonating criteria. Now when omega is equal to omega naught is equal to root over 1 by LC. So this was my resonating criteria. This is my resonating criteria. So this is what we have arrived so far. So now let's say for this we know I m max i m max is equal to v m upon r when this becomes zero so this is my condition so for the values of omega other than omega naught the amplitude of the current is less than the maximum value so other than this particular we know that other than that the amplitude is less than the maximum value suppose we choose a value of omega for which the current amplitude is 1 by root, say suppose we chose a value of omega where i m, the current value i is 1 by root 2 times of the max value, i m max, this is max, this is the current i m. At this value the power dissipated by the circuit becomes half, so we know that the power that is dissipated by the circuit, what is power p equals to i square r, this was the relation that we have established previously is half. So from the curve we know that we see that there are two such values. Now if you look over here, what is this? We can have two such values, one that is going up again that is coming down. So now you have two such values, you have two such values. So let's find out that two such values that is one greater than omega naught we have will have since this is omega 1 and this is omega 2 let's say and this is omega naught so this one will be less than omega naught and this one will be greater than omega naught that is what it is being saying in your book that for this for two values that is between you will have one that is less and one that is greater than the actual omega naught so let omega 1 be omega naught plus del omega so the difference so if you are taking omega 2 to be greater let's take omega let's say this is omega 1 this is omega 2 i have taken omega 2 to be greater and this is omega 1 this is omega naught minus del omega so this is smaller and this is greater so if you want to find the now if you look at a difference if you look at the difference between these two difference is difference is nothing but your twice del omega what is the difference between this two the difference between this two was actually twice the difference between any one twice the difference between any one that is del omega one so if you want say suppose if i want to find what is omega one now if I want to find what is omega 1 for I m, omega 1 for I m, I will straight away write V m by root over of R square plus omega 1 L minus 1 by omega C 1 L. This was for my omega 1. Similarly for omega 2, I can put the similar values. Now it is given that because of this, because of this omega, we have already assumed that the power becomes half. That is the current, that the current is 1 by root 2 times. So straight away without any delay, I can straight away write without going to the necessary calculations, I can straight away write I max, this is I max, this is maximum is root 2 times. 
this is root 2 times only then the power will be half if you put this formula over here this is the initial power at max so if you put p equals to i by root 2 whole square into r you will have p equals to 1 by 2 i r that is the power is half power is half at i equals to i max by root 2 times so now you know this will be max when this is max this is max so this will be max when v m upon root 2 r this will be half exactly half the power will be exactly half when we have the value of current i is equal to v m upon root 2 upon r so this is what we have so now you know that so if this is the value let's put this in the next so what i was trying to tell you is this is this is a current i and when i max if this is i max is root 2 only then the power will be half and when this will be root 2 when this is equal to vm upon root 2 r vm upon root 2 r only then and what was the resistance the resistance the total resistance was given by r square plus omega 1 l minus 1 by omega 1 c whole square should be equal to root 2 r this all should be equal to root 2 r now squaring both sides what we have is r square plus omega 1 l minus 1 by omega 1 c whole square is equal to 2 r square 2 r square so r square r square gets cancelled therefore r should be equal to omega 1 l minus 1 by omega 1 c whole square that is r sorry this is r square therefore r should be equal to omega 1 l minus 1 by omega 1 c <coughs> so this is the value now this is what you have so far arrived now let's do the further calculation i hope till here everything is clear now omega 1 what was omega 1 what was omega 1 now the question was omega 1 we had taken this to be omega naught minus del omega omega naught minus del omega therefore if you put this value if you put this value over here what will you arrive you will you will see that this value is r is actually equal to omega naught minus del omega into l minus 1 by omega naught minus del omega into c so this is what we have arrived <coughs> now if i take omega naught common from here if you look omega naught common from here what you will see is this is 1 minus del omega upon omega naught into L minus a uh, omega has been taken common over here. So if a omega naught has been taken common over here that is 1 by this omega naught whole square minus del omega into omega naught whole this is C. So this is what we have. This is 1 minus. Now if you simplify this if you further simplify this, we can say that this is if you take this common, if you take this common, this is minus. So, in a way, we can express this as we can write this as in this way 1 plus del omega upon omega naught minus omega naught l into 1 minus del omega into omega naught which is equal to r therefore you know that twice del omega twice del omega now we know what is omega naught omega naught is 1 by root over of lc this is omega naught is this so you know del omega is equal to r upon twice L 
therefore twice omega naught is equal to 2 multiplied by r upon twice l which is equal to r by l that is equal to r by l so now if you are trying to look for the sharpness factor we know that omega naught upon twice del omega is equal to omega naught l by r and the ratio and the ratio of omega naught l upon r is called the quality factor q this is called q is called the quality factor quality factor this is called the quality factor of the circuit so twice del omega is actually equal to omega naught upon q this is equal to omega naught upon q so if you see the larger the value of q the smaller is the value of 2 del q 2 del q so if q quality factor increases this becomes smaller and smaller and we can see that the smaller the difference between the resonance greater is the quality factor so we say that this is a high quality when the resonance is the difference in resonance that is the difference to reach resonance is exactly same 